Good morning everyone, this is Harald Amos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 9th of uh, January. Dollar rebounds on solid US employment data. US non-farm payrolls rose by 156k in December, somewhat less than the expected 178k, but still a solid number that is consistent with further tightening in the labor market. Even though in December's NFP missed its uh, estimates, uh, that weakness was offset by the upside revision in November's number. What's more, although the unemployment rate ticked up as expected, average hourly earnings came at 0.4% month over month, above the forecast uh, for a 0.3% gain. This was a solid report overall in our view, mainly due to the strong earnings uh, number, which uh, the Fed closely monitors as a gauge of uh, whether inflationary pressures have begun to pick up. The knee-jerk reaction in the dollar was uh, negative, probably as uh, a result of uh, the miss in the NFP print, but the currency quickly recovered its uh, losses in the following minutes and traded higher against uh, most of its major counterparts in the aftermath. Eurodollar was waiting for the employment data near the resistance of 106.15, and after the figures were uh, released, it uh, slid. During the early European morning today, the rate looks to be headed uh, for a test near the 105 psychological zone, where a dip could initially aim for the next support of 104.35. Another break below the latter level could see scope for extensions towards the key hurdle of 103.60. Overall, we maintain our view that the Fed is likely to hike uh, borrowing costs uh, twice uh, this year, in line with uh, current market pricing according to the Fed Fund's uh, futures. We believe that the change in uh, voting rights within the FOMC has turned the committee somewhat more dovish uh, this year, making the case for three hikes uh, to seem rather uh, doubtful. In addition, we think uh, the officials may be worried about the stronger dollar holding down uh, inflation as was signaled in the, in the December FOMC minutes, implying they may try to avoid fueling further gains in, in the currency. However, with regards to euro dollar, given the ultra loose ECB policy, we believe that uh, the dynamics of uh, monetary policy divergence could keep any gains in the pair limited. On the daily chart, we still see a medium term downtrend. The price structure has, be has been lower peaks and lower troughs since the 9th of uh, November. Nevertheless, a clear dip below 10360 is needed to confirm a forthcoming lower low and signal a trend uh, resumption. Moving forward, uh, the attention for USD traders is likely to turn to a press conference by Donald Trump on Wednesday, his first as uh, president-elect. Moving to the UK, the British pound opened with a negative gap against its uh, major counterparts today, following some comments from Prime Minister Theresa May over the weekend. In a televised interview, the Prime Minister said uh, that uh, regaining control of immigration and lawmaking are among, uh, are among her main priorities, even if that means the UK ends up with limited access to the EU single market. On top of that, Scotland's uh, First Minister said that she is not bluffing regarding uh, the prospect of another independence uh, referendum if, Sco if Scotland is driven off a hard uh, Brexit cliff, something that may have also fueled uh, the GBP tumble. Now Cable appears ready to challenge the key support obstacle of 122, where a dip uh, would confirm a forthcoming uh, lower low on the 4-hour chart and perhaps aim for our next support barrier of 121.50. We believe that this uh, renewed hard Brexit rhetoric from uh, the Prime Minister could keep the pound under selling interest in uh, coming days, at least until the Supreme Court's uh, decision on whether Parliament should vote on uh, Brexit. The decision is expected uh, later this month. As for today's events, uh, the calendar is uh, rather light. Uh, we get Germany's industrial production and trade uh, data for November and Eurozone's unemployment rate for uh, the same month. We also have three speakers in the UK, Bank of England uh, Deputy Governor Minou Shafiq will uh, speak, while in the US we have uh, Boston Fed President Eric uh, Rosengren and Atlanta Fed President Dennis uh, Lockhart. As for the rest of the week, on Tuesday during the Asian morning we get China's CPI and PPI data for uh, December. On Wednesday, the press conference by Donald Trump is likely to steal uh, the show, given that it, it will be his first as uh, US President-elect. Any details on the potential size uh, and uh, or composition of his uh, measures could uh, cause sharp moves across USD crosses, as well as all the other asset classes that have uh, priced in the Trump effect. 
On Thursday, Fed Chair Yellen is uh, scheduled to speak in Washington, D.C. The Fed chief will be addressing teachers, and so she may avoid the topic of uh, monetary policy. Finally, on Friday, we get the U.S. retail sales for uh, December and China's uh, trade data for the same month. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.